starts off. Wes, we'll start with you, and then we'll go to Patrick. Just the, uh, the the first day back out there, how did everything go? Did it feel about like you thought it would? What, how, what was the experience like today? I knew that it was going to be hard, and I knew it was going to they were going to come at me because I mean I I'm brand new. I came in May, so I moved in in May and everything and. Uh, I knew the coaches would be on me and everything, so I was kind of expecting all of that from the sense of that. But the urgency and like when we're going against a team and going against our actual offense, when they when they actually go tempo, I don't understand how other teams are able to keep up sometimes. I think uh, towards the beginning, it was going really quick, or it was. It started out slow, then it went really quick, and then the last like two weeks, they started being a lot slower because it wasn't like we we didn't do as much because well our I mean our coaches weren't in town and we, that we weren't allowed to have them, but we still got like work in by ourselves and stuff like that. So it was like it was a lot slower and a lot more self-paced and just more focused on working on little things like your footwork, hands, your speed and stuff like that and lifting. But um, like from transitioning into that, like it's, it was completely different just having them back, so. Recently, I've been going to Tyler Barron a lot. So TB, Big O, like those are my two guys that I, I, I always confide in whenever I need help with anything. Um, but like James Pierce, he's 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 very smart. And you know, like he's quiet. Him and Josh uh, Josh Josephs, they're both sophomores, but they're both like insanely smart when it comes down to the game, and they know exactly what they need to like what they need to do and when they need to do it. So I think I, those, those, those are people like, even though they're quiet, if you go up to them, they'll talk to you. So they're, they're leaders in that aspect. Uh, the whole defensive scale, obviously we have like, we have Kamal, we have Danico Slaughter, we have Aaron Beasley. Those, those three guys are very vocal guys that I, like, I hear from all the time, so. Any uh, freshman D linemen that come in, they're, they're told over, over the course of their career they're gonna need to gain weight. Um, I think so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 underweight right now. We like it's it's not hard to see it, and I'm not gonna shy away from it. I know I'm underweight, but I know I'm gonna do all I can to be able to get to the weight that I need to be to be able to play. So, do you, do you know what weight is your target weight? For me personally, I, I, it's it's got to be in between the two thirties to two forty five. That's where I'm. That's where I'm going to want to be at, just so I can keep. Like they're gonna, they make sure they want me to keep my speed, but they also want to make sure that I have enough body mass and everything to be able to have power come, to come with it. Anything else? Offense, and Vince. In that same role, like Caleb, I think showed like two hundred six and was at the you know, upper two twenties and low two thirties. You know, early in the spring. Like, what did you kind of show up at? And what are you currently at? Uh. I've been fluctuating, so I, saw, I, I showed in, I showed up at 217 or 216, 217, somewhere around there. I got up to 220, I think like midday, I was starting to, like I weighed three times a day. I was getting, I got up to 227, and then I keep like fluctuating back, like back and forth between the 220s, and like 225 to 220 right now, so. Love to hear your early impressions of Coach Garner and Coach Eckler. <laughs> I'll start off with Eck. Uh, Coach Eck is one of the funniest people I know. Like whether it's through meetings, uh, like he he's a he's very helpful. And for me, it, when he teaches me something, it clicks just like that because he knows that I'm I'm a very I'm not like I I learn things I can learn things through visual, but I'm a very mental learner. So like once I see like I can see something and hear something and I can like impact and put that 
uh, put that into my game as long as I, I, I got to get a few reps at it first, obviously. But um, Coach Eck has a very different way of teaching us, and, and I, I really enjoy being around Coach Eck. Coach Gardner, now, I love Coach G. He's uh, coming into here, like, let's say after signing day, he, uh, he came into my school because we have other people in our school that, that are being recruited from my high school. Um, I met up with him, and the first thing he said is, you're signed now, it's over. We're not treating you like a baby anymore. You're, I'm going to be on you about every little thing, no matter what it is, even though you're still in high school. And he did not lie. I got texts at least once every week, just him checking up on me, making sure that I'm doing everything that I need to do. Uh, and since I've been here, he's been on it, on me, on me, on me, on me, about every little thing, and I love it. Like I went up, I went up to him after practice today and, said, and told him thank you because that's like that's the type of stuff that I like because it helps me learn. And I think sometimes it feels like sometimes it looks as if it gets under my skin a little bit, but in reality, in my head, I'm like processing it, and I, I genuinely like being taught that way. I like being yelled at. It's 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 weird, but I really do like I I enjoy it. We have a couple more. We'll do Rick, and then we'll turn to Brian. Nathan, just wanted to ask about your experience at the NFL Draft, just kind of what that was like, who you got to meet, and maybe if that's a motivating experience as you enter your, your career here at Tennessee. Ooh, so that was on April 27th, yeah. Uh, the, tw the, the NFL Draft was cool. Uh, so, like, beginning of it, I started out, I drove to the Chiefs Stadium, and we met up with the people that took us, and they took the 12 best athletes in our state, or in the city of Kansas City because uh, the draft was where I'm from. And they took us over to the draft. Um, they, what they had is they had half of us go to the back and uh, like on the TV when you see them getting their hats handed to them of the team that they got drafted to, if they were invited to be at the draft in Kansas City, then they had those guys handing out the hats to those, to those that were drafted. Um, for the rest of us, they waited and they took us up for the Seahawks, I think it was pick 20. Uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, which was really what was really cool about that was I got to meet Jackson for one. I got to meet the NFL uh, NFL commissioner and everything too. But I got to meet Jackson. Uh, I look at Instagram that night. So what happened? I, I requested for verification on Instagram before I got my verification. I didn't notice until I got on there. But I checked my brother. My brother was hanging out with Jackson Smith and Jigba the night before, which was a really good experience for me because I was like, oh wait, now I have another connection. I have more. I have another connection, and it's gonna help lead me to where I want to be at in my future. Uh, Ryan, last question. Sean Davey, and obviously we've pressed when we also talk about you know gaining weight, uh, you know just getting up to speed in the playbook and things like that. As a pass rusher, how, how do you where do you feel like you are now? You obviously played both sides of the ball in, in high school, and, and how have you progressed in that area since you got here as far as technique and just pass rush moves and things like that? Um. I think a lot of things, like it's a lot different in high school for me because in high school, like I obviously, I was just able to beat everybody I wanted with speed. Like I, that's all I had to do in speed. I had moves and I've known moves since I, like since my sophomore, junior year that I just didn't have to pull out because it was coming, it was coming natural just to run past. Now that I'm actually having to use those moves and work on them all the time, uh, it, it's a lot different and my body is still trying to adjust to it and get used to like, the different ways that I have to twist my twist my uh, hips or move my shoulders to be able to move around and everything like it's 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 different but it's not like too much on my body at least and I uh, I think it's gonna it's it, this is gonna benefit. Thank you, Xavier. Appreciate you, man. Sure.